Love bombing is if I come up to say to you and say, what an attractive, bright, intelligent looking person you are. Are you from around here? And that flattery will get you to say, well, no, I'm from out of town. And then I'll say, oh, how interesting. Why don't you come to my uh, course with me or come to the place I live or come to this international living group I'm with or come to my health food commune? And in no time at all, this love bombing is simply someone flattering you and they take you to their facility. And at that facility, they may be selling meditation, a new lifestyle, a new psychology of life, an old or a new philosophy. And the group, because they want to get you to come and help them grow more powerful, will love bomb you, mean flatter you, tell you you're the best in the world. And if you're lonely and sort of without some friends at the moment, they've got the hook in to really lure you in, and that's what love bombing is. I've often said, after interviewing people, that I came to realize that these young women that I'd interviewed had not gone out looking for a cult that was going to put them out on the street as prostitutes, soliciting men to come back to the cult, that they had simply been at a vulnerable position in their life and a cult recruiter got them to come to the group and accept a lot of the flattery and the charming attention that they were given. And when a person is lonely and in between meaningful jobs, meaningful relationships, we're all vulnerable to flattery and false promises so that across time, most of us who study cults have discovered that it's not any special type of person that gets in a cult, but it's people who are approached by a cult recruiter at a vulnerable period in their life.